What is going on guys? It is Fresh Big Pie. Welcome to another Fresh Big video. Today we will be going over some testing I did with the new Overeaters effect both on regular armor and on power armor. The reason I decided to test out this effect is because I've seen a bit of a stir about it in the discussions on Reddit and in Discord about legendary effects for power armor and I've actually seen some people call for it to be removed from power armor just like the unyielding effect was claiming that with the damage reduction you'll get from a full set meaning all five pieces it would be way too powerful and making you basically immortal and essentially making everything in the game trivial so i was like let's test it let's see what is it all about let's see if it's actually the case and i got some interesting results all right so let's dive right in All right, so right here is the completed set, all five pieces of Overeaters. As you can see, increased damage reduction up to 6% as you fill your hunger and thirst meters. Now, I do not actually know if it means you have to have a completely full hunger and thirst bar, but I think it's as long as it's uh, somewhere close to full or full, you are getting that full 6%. So now what I'm gonna do is transfer this power armor over to my main character and we can dive right into the testing. All right, so I am back at my main character's camp and I have the power armor with the overeaters effects on that character. So now I'm going to jump into this primal cuts event on the PTS to see how it stacks up against these stronger enemies you'll find at this event because I'm a high level. And first we're going to be testing the base damage reduction of a full set of regular legendary armor with the overeaters effect. That is what I currently have equipped or am about to equip, I believe, um, because this is pre-recorded. So yeah. I'm about to equip it right now, as you can see, full five piece set, and it is all buttressed for the maximum energy and damage resistance to go along with it. Now, I will also be jumping into the power armor, but I do not have blocker, I do not have serendipity, I do not have dodgy, and I do not have ricochet equipped. As you can see right there, I got one shot by a Yao Guai. Uh, also keep in mind i do not have strange in numbers going and i am not on a team so my other mutations like empath and herd mentality are not in effect which means i actually have negative special right now but uh, again i think i get killed pretty quickly here i got killed in two shots you can see nerd rage just procced which means that is also not active and again this is to test how effective the damage reduction is on just the overeater set and it is extremely negligible at this point it's almost like i don't have it on at all because i'm being one shot by the algwai now same situation we're going to not have any of those perks or mutations take effect and we're going to jump into the full set of overeaters power armor the power armor that i've seen many claim will make you completely immortal and uh, we'll see that the honey beasts are able to kill me pretty quickly at low health. Granted, it would take them a bit longer if I was a full health build, but um, yeah, it took them basically no time at all. Again, this is not a representation of what most builds that utilize this effect will look like, but it is letting you know that at just base effect, just using overeaters with full hunger and full thirst bar, that overeaters does not make you immortal in any sense in fact the damage reduction is pretty negligible in my opinion that is what i found out by testing it so now what i'm going to do is a bit of testing outside of power armor with the regular legendary armor and the reason for this is because i'm trying to see how effective regular legendary armor is with the overeaters effect with the perks that you can apply while not in power armor those being serendipity which does not work in power armor and i think that's it i think you can have ricochet blocker and dodgy all while in power armor and those perks will make your survivability uh skyrocket especially since you already have that damage reduction so combining that with the overeaters effect should make you you know pretty tanky but let's see how effective that is in just the regular legendary armor now right here i think i don't have 
blocker equipped, but this is really just testing the attacks from ranged damage from these super mutants. And as you can see, Serendipity is procking um, pretty frequently here, and Ricochet procs, but in just a sec, I go down. So again, this is in the Overeater's armor. Now, if I were in power armor, granted, I probably would not have gone down as quickly, but I also wouldn't really die in that situation in non-legendary power armor either. The damage reduction is already enough to stay alive in a situation like that with or without the overeater's effect. Now, it probably would have reduced my damage a little more and made me a little more tanky, but in no way would it be in the realm of being overpowered and definitely in no way would it need to be removed as an effect capable of being on power armor. That is just kind of a giant swing, just like with the removal of unyielding. Now, this is going to be the final bit of testing I did while running around with the Overeater's armor. It is not going to be in the power armor, but instead in the regular set of armor. And the reason I wanted it to be in the regular set of armor is because I want to show that it not only does it not need to be removed, it is also not overpowered and in fact you can already be an immortal tank in the current state of the game with just the right combination of perks mutations and legendary effects so as you can see here i'm at another primal cuts ev event i'm going up, up against these prime red scorpions and then in a sec uh, myler kings and sting wings and fog crawlers and I do not go down even once. In fact, I barely even come close to dying at all. So the weapon I'm using is no longer the bloodied explosive pe pepper shaker I was using. It is now a three-star vampire's pepper shaker that gives me 25% damage boost while aiming when I'm firing and 50% damage resistance while I, or I'm, I'm sorry, not 50%, plus 50 damage resistance while aiming. So, as you can see, I am now not taking really any damage at all. Serendipity is proccing a lot. Blocker is helping me out here. And I have joined a public team so that herd mentality and empath are no longer negatively affecting me because those effects do actually work somewhat in your favor whenever you are on a team, even if it is just you on the team. Of course, in Strange in Numbers will make those effects even more beneficial to you. Um, on top of that, I am using Funky Duds, which is saving me from all the poison I am taking from all of these creatures. But the real key element to surviving like this and staying alive is the Vampire's Weapon. Granted, it has a fast fire rate, so if you are using something like a pistol or something like a semi-automatic weapon, you probably won't see as quick of a result as far as getting you that health regen to proc. But uh, if you use an automatic weapon, which most people do, then you should be just fine. And just... I mean, these results speak for themselves. I don't die. In fact, the only thing that's really able to diminish my health bar over time is the radiation damage I'm receiving. That would be the only thing that would kill me with enough time and enough radiation absorbed. So, in a minute here, I'm actually going to remove overeaters to once again reinforce that it is not only not OP, it is not even necessary to maintain your immortal status. It, uh, like I said, is completely possible within the confines of what is currently in the live version of the game to survive pretty much any encounter like I am. And I am at 20% or less. Oh, I also forgot to mention I have Nerd Rage proc'd plus the other damage mitigating effects I mentioned before. And my damage resistance, I believe, is a bit above 350, and my energy resistance is also somewhere in that range. Um, I, I don't remember if it's the 350s or the 450s where you start seeing those real diminishing returns, but honestly, if your normal set of legendary armor is hitting anywhere in the three to 400 range or higher, you are fine in terms of how much damage and energy resistance you need. Now, like I said, the vampire's weapon is the real key to the survivability. That is definitely something you would want. 
of course if you don't have that then you know the overeaters damage reduction would definitely play a bigger role into your survivability but again whether or not you are in power armor would be irrelevant of course in power armor because of its natural 42 percent damage reduction you would survive easier and longer but it is entirely possible to still be killed while in power armor even with a full set of overeaters just like you can be killed with a full set of overeaters in regular legendary armor as you can see here I am able to survive all of these giant massive damage dealing creatures with just normal stuff that is in the game already. No need for new effects or any fancy gear. Or at least any of the new fancy gear. So do with that information what you will, but um, please don't think that Overeaters is going to be the new thing that will shift the meta or that it's going to change anything really or that it's going to be super op on power armor it will not be by any means at all um but definitely still something you can chase if you're interested in it all right guys and that is going to do it for today's video i hope you learned something about the overeaters effect uh final verdict is that again it's not op and it definitely is okay to have on power armor um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Let me know if you're looking forward to trying to get a set of it or what you might be looking forward to get a set of, whether it's regular legendary armor or power armor, or just let me know anything you might be excited about come still rain or any other comments, concerns, or questions you have. I will happily answer or inform you to the best of my abilities. My name is Fresh Break Pie. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I will see you guys next time.